so yesterday was I I'm considering this yesterday the best day of my life now um, there's a backstory there's a lot in the back but basically yesterday was March 25th uh, Sunday March 25th 2018 now the reason why yesterday was the best day of my life was because of um, the group on my shirt right now OTJ now uh, yesterday was their first show here in Houston, Texas. I'm pretty sure it's also their first show ever, but it is their first show here in Houston, Texas now. Um, the reason I wanted to go, the reason I was like, yo, I have to go to this was because a few months ago, we're in March, right? A few months ago, I'm talking like summer last year. Uh, I, I had hit a rough patch. I was not in the right mind. I was sad. I was, I'm pretty sure I was depressed. Um... And uh, around then, I was I was in the right mind. I couldn't do my normal, usual day things. And at that point, I listened to a lot of uh, house, a lot of trap, a lot of EDM, right? Uh, and a lot of the people I listened to had like some pretty sad. I wouldn't say super sad, but they had like sad tuned music. And that was the stuff that like I really enjoyed. Like that was my shit, right? And then. On one of those days when I was just incredibly sad, or I wouldn't say sad, but just out of it, right? Uh, I decided to go on on YouTube and look for music. They have music on there. I I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at my old music from when I was younger. I don't know why. I just felt like looking at the music I was into when I was a lot younger. I did, and I was like, you know, I, I, I remember this. I, I miss being that young, whatever. Um, and then I think uh, there was a stream going on. That had like some chill music, and I think I was doing homework or I wanted to stream or something, and I put it on. Then I just like listened to it for a bit, and I was like, "This is pretty cool." And I started going through the the recommended videos and all that. And I think after, dude, this was like at 4 p.m. I think by like 6 p.m. Like I'd been there for hours just looking at music, but I ended up finding a small sub community of like lo-fi and like chill music, and, and there was a few things that were kind of sad and. You know, at that point, I was like, "Yo, this music's amazing," and it really was. It's still, I still listen to today. And the people in the comments, you know, they were all talking about their situation, and there was a big community of people just sharing what their IRL problems were. And I was like, "You know, this is this is awesome. Like, there's people out here who who like, are talking about their problems and shit, and like this music is helping them out." And I'm like, "It's amazing." And and so then I just ended up listening to me like music to that like music and I started my search at like I don't know 3 4 p.m. listening to music and I think I, I, I stayed up until like 6 a.m. 7 a.m. or maybe 8 I remember it was past 6 a.m. Uh, I was listening to music and I just couldn't go to sleep because this music was just the best thing I've heard in years like I, it, it, it legitimately made me feel amazing like I felt so much better uh, and it was sometime past 4 a.m. it was like 5 a.m. I found this song uh, presumably on SoundCloud maybe on YouTube but I remember, I can't remember the, uh, what song, what name was it? The name of it was, oh boy, what was the name of it? I can, I can go inside and I can, I can take you with me on my phone. Um, but I remember that song, I, li I, there was this one song, I just heard it, it was four in the morning, five in the morning, I was dozing off, I was tired, I was exhausted, right? And... I heard the song and it immediately woke me up. I was like, "Who is this?" Right? The 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 voice, the sound, everything in that song just made me go, "Oh my God, who is this? I need to know who this is." Right? Like, I there's I, I was like, "Oh my God, this is the best thing I've heard ever." Like, I freak. I was like, "Whoa, this is amazing. This is an awesome song. I must I must listen to more." Right? And my neighbor's in construction. Um, and, and so I'm like, it was amazing. I ended up looking at the song, because my phone was flipped upside down with the headphones in. I was like in bed already, right? So I flip my phone back over and I look at it, and the, the, the person who had released the song uh, was someone called Limbo. And I'm thinking, I need to hear more, right? So I go ahead and look at her profile. It's on SoundCloud, because I was looking at her profile, on her profile. And I'm like, oh my god, this music is amazing. Like, I freaked out. I That's that's basically what happened. I, I found it like between 4 and 5 a.m. And I stayed up until like 6, 7. Because I just, I've continued to listen to her music only at this point. I was like, this is the best music I've ever heard. And I, I just, 
I could not get it out of my mind. Like I, I think I repeated the same song for like thirty minutes and then moved on to the next one. Like it was amazing. Um, and, and I just after that day, after that night, I guess it'd be morning, but after that day, I did not listen to anything that was not hers or something she featured on or something she produced something that she did and like I, I like now I've said some more things but like for a solid month and a half maybe two I listened to nothing but songs that had limbo in them either like she produced she featured whatever it was but a song where she was in it um now her music is very like like uh upbeat and I, I think that's what made me like it and then like i was like yo this music's amazing right and then a lot of the songs she featured on were a combination of like upbeat and some of them were slow some of them were, you know th- things that just like i really enjoyed like i said i was in a depressed mood so i also looked for songs that are a lot slower a lot more depressing but uh or you know you know what i mean slower and it, but um i did find a few you know went up but then there was songs that she featured on where things were a lot slower a lot more sad and i was like yo this is awesome right but the thing that the reason why i decided to listen to her music for so long that night was because of her voice like i legitimately remember i remember to this day i remember exactly what i was like oh my god this voice like i was just laying there and i was like this is the most beautiful beautiful voice i've heard in my life like I freaked out. I was like, "This is the most beautiful voice I've heard in all my life," and I, I still, I still believe that to this day. Like, I was like, "Oh my god, this, this, just her voice, just like literally, literally took all of my words. Like, it took everything." I was like, "Oh my god, like this voice is like amazing, right?" I was like, "This is the best shit I've ever heard in my life," and and so basically, like, I continued to her for two months, and then whatever and then I, I was obsessed with her voice and everything that she did and I ended up following her on Twitter and like I you know did all this and that and like I was just like oh my god basically I became an, like a fan and incredibly quickly I just became a huge fan and then a lot of the the songs that she was in that she featured in uh, I ended up looking at the, the you know their music and all this stuff and they all had the same kind of vibe to them and so that's I was like oh my god these people are all amazing then I come to find out that one or two of them had created a group called OTJ off the jump. This right here, the reason why this shirt is like my favorite and most important shirt ever right now. Um, because I was like, oh my God, you know, they have a group, they have all this. And I was like, this is awesome. And then sometime in December, maybe November, December, I remember I was on Twitter and Limbo had asked the question. She said, you know, where do you guys live? you know, would you be interested in a show or some of that? And, I, and I, at this point, I already know she lives in, in San Francisco, California. So I'm thinking, there's no way, right? She's probably thinking somewhere in California. I look at the comments and people are like, you know, Houston, like Philadelphia, places all around the U.S. And and here's the thing, like, at that point, she had like less than 7,000 followers on SoundCloud. So, you know, I, I, I knew that like there was not going to be a lot of response, but I was like hopeful i was like dude you know it'd be awesome if she came and all this stuff and you know having like a uh i wouldn't say small because i'm nowhere near that much of that big of a following but you know having a following of that size i was like you know she's probably gonna keep it local stay in california maybe maybe go out of state somewhere close like nevada or something i'm back i was outside but the neighbor won't stop with the uh i assume drilling um but i'm gonna continue with the story now where was i right there's gonna be a part two on youtube um all right so so basically i you know she had posted comment your city i was freaking out because you know i I wouldn't say she's a small following but i was just like you know she's probably gonna keep it local um to california and then i saw people posting like places florida houston you know texas and, and i was like wait you know if people are posting their city like legitimately i'm like you know i'm gonna post mine too so i went ahead and posted houston i said you know please come to houston i'd love to see you um, and, and so I, I just went ahead and I, you know, I left it at that. And then maybe a month later, maybe two months, I don't remember, but a, a solid amount of time later, she po- she retweeted a tweet from OTJ saying that they were going to have a pool party. That's what they were, they'd be calling it. They, were, they would have a pool party here in Houston. And, you know, I'm thinking OTJ guys, I really enjoy their music. I was like, yo, I'm going anyways. 
come to realize she's coming too. I'm like, oh my god. Like, quite literally, the, the I freaked out. Now, the thing about me is I, I'm, very, I'm a very internalized person. I, I, I'm very shy. I like to keep away from people, right? So, in, you know, I freak out, obviously, internally, but I'm ecstatic. I'm like, holy crap, she's coming to Houston, right? And I'm just, like, freaking out. And this was months ago, probably December or something, uh, when, when I found out about this. And I'm like, holy shit, I, I cannot believe she's coming to Houston. I really can't. And, and so I'm like, holy crap. And, and then, of course... You know, I'm I'm freaking out. I'm super happy. I'm making plans, um, and I remember, you know, I'm just like freaking out. And she continues to make music. She continues to do all this. And so do the OTJ guys. You know, Atwood, Ichi, all those people. They continue to make uh, Chris Wright. They all continue to make music, and and I continue to tune in because I I truly believe that their music is amazing. You know, some of the best of I've heard ever. Uh, and, and so I'm like continue, and I'm this, that's literally all I listen to. It's the OTJ guys, Limbo, and, and maybe a few others, but that's pretty much all I listen to now. Uh, and and I'm like, holy crap! I, I, I basically I, I didn't believe it. I was like, holy shit! You know, I'm still you know, planning a bit and stuff. I had school, I had you know finals, whatever. And obviously, I live in Houston. Uh, Harvey was a thing. And, and, you know, I, I think I, I started listening to music before even Harvey struck. Like, I was listening to Harvey one of the nights before Harvey struck. Maybe a little bit before that. But I remember I was listening to her, to her music um, throughout Harvey. Because I still hadn't, I hadn't discovered the OTJ guys during Harvey. So I was still listening to her music. Uh, and, you know, it was amazing. It was uplifting. Um, and then I remember that... Uh, I think maybe February, which is last month. I remember, whole, like, I'm looking through my Twitter feed, you know, because I, I remember around January something, she retweeted it, and, and so I was like, holy crap. And then around February, I think she either retweeted it again, or maybe I just remember that they're coming. And I'm like, holy shit, I forgot. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. And then then I mark it down the calendar and everything. And school still being stressful, all this stuff and things, and I'm listening to their music because I think they're amazing. And then last week or a week and a half ago my sister it was spring break my sister comes over and I'm like wait you know my sister uh, we don't have you know like the same similar taste or anything and, and my sister doesn't live with me she lives uh, with her mother so so I'm like you know she comes over for spring break and I'm like yo like we should go because literally a month from maybe January we were just talking on Snapchat and, and we were talking about how much we would both we, we both have been wanting to go to some sort of a live show uh, we've always wanted to go to one, right? And she's she's 22. She's much older than me. And she's like, you know, I, I'm old enough. I can go. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to go by myself. Like, I want to go with, like, my, my boyfriend or something. And I'm like, but he doesn't like the same music. She likes it. And I'm like, you know what? I, you know, obviously, she knew, she knew I really liked EDM and all that stuff from back then. And, you know, at that point, I listened to it. But I was like, you know, I still really would like to go to a show of that kind. And and then, you know, I, I at that point, I didn't, I didn't consider asking her to come with me. But then during spring break, I went, wait a minute we should totally go, right? Because we both really want to go to some sort of live show event. And what better thing? I mean, I can introduce her to, to all the people I really like and stuff and things. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So I went ahead and invited her, and you know, she agreed. She said yes. And I basically jumped off the walls. I was excited. I was like, holy crap. This is real. I'm going to go to this, right? Uh, and then, uh, you know, this is spring break. This was maybe a week before they came, a week and a half. So... Um, I, I'm basically, like, anticipating this. I'm, like, incredibly happy. I can't wait till they show up, right? Uh, and then maybe two days before uh, the OTJ pool party, she, she sent me a message. She's like, I can't go. You know, she has school, but she has, like, we have it at the same exact time, but she has college, which is much more important. Can't really miss. And I'm like, damn. Like, it, it, just, it just happened because of Harvey. It messes up her whole thing and her hours and all this and I'm like oh my god I you know and here's the thing I'm 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 16 she's 22 my mother wouldn't let me go by myself because it's an I wouldn't say it's in a dangerous part of town but it's in downtown Houston um and while it's not necessarily unsafe it's not the safest place in Houston either so so you know she wouldn't let me go by myself and I was devastated I legit the day she told me I think I stayed up till 4 or 5 a.m 
it was a school night, obviously, but I just stayed up and I was like devastated. I was just like, what do I do? You know, they're coming to town. They don't have a huge following. They probably won't be back for a long time. And if they are, like, I don't know if Limbo will be back. I don't know this and that. I was just torn. I was broken. I was like crying. I was, I could not believe that that, that happened. Um, I basically lost my spirit. I was completely broken. I was devastated. I could not believe that that happened. I was like broken. I was like, oh my God, she, she, you know, Limbo's coming. I saw her Twitter. She was like, can't wait. And I was like, oh my God, I was so sad. Like she's coming to Houston and I'm like, I can't, I won't be able to see her. She's so close. She's in my town. And I was like, fuck, I I can't believe I'm going to miss this opportunity. Um, Right, and then on Saturday, right, my like my mother had stuff to do, we had chores, cleaning on the house. That was super sad. I was just, I, I was devastated on Saturday. Um, and then my, I think uh, my mother had like some sort of a meeting or something, uh, like a, a group thing. Uh, and she was like, "Yo, do you want to go to the movies?" So I'm at that thing, and like my dad was at work, so you, you know, I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" Um, so I went, and, and you know, the whole I was just sad, and so I, I was like, "You know what? I'm, I watched this movie. I heard it wasn't super amazing." Um, whatever, and I'm, I'm a movie guy, so I went in, I watched it, it turns out it's a really good movie, I'd probably because my expectations way too low, and I was really depressed, but I was like, the best movie I've watched in a long time, I felt really good after watching that movie, I was talking to my friends, like, yo, you guys have to see this movie, I was super happy, um, but then, I think I get home around midnight or one, and I'm, you know, I'm obviously sad, I stay up late again, you know, I'm just kind of thinking, like, you know, what do I do, there has to be something, maybe I can ask my friends for a ride, maybe something, I, I'm trying to plan right I'm like dude um then on Sunday I wake up and then I'm like ah today's the day see it on Twitter to the limbo's like yeah today's the day and I'm like you know I saw that she she arrived yesterday on, on Saturday and I'm like oh man you know I'm like ah she's here I wish I could go all this and that and then I I, I think so the show was at 7 it starts at 7 30 at 7 30 p.m uh, and, and, you know, my mother was like, you have to go to church today. I'm like, oh, man. I'm like, you know what? I can go at 5, which ends at 6.30. That'll give me an hour to go downtown. And I only live, like, 17, 20 minutes from downtown. So I'm like, um, all right, I'll go. You know, I'll have time. So I, and I was like, you know, if I go, hopefully my mother can give me a ride there. Uh, I went, came back. Or not even before I left, I was like, yo, mom, like, uh, am I going to go to the, the, the OTJ uh, live show, you know, the concert? And, and she was like, oh, I forgot. Cause I, I told her like a month ago, you know, a while back. It's like, oh, I completely forgot. You didn't remind me. And she was like, isn't your sister taking you? I said, no, her mom, this and that. I explained the whole thing. She, she was like, oh, that sucks. Like, you, think, you think you just go drop me off? She was like, oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Then I'm like, whatever. I, you know, shower, get ready for church and all this and that. And then I go, I, I go over myself. There's an English master and Spanish master. My mom was a Spanish one. Uh, so I go, and I'm like, you know, I'm sad, I'm, I'm in church, but I'm still sad, I'm like, you know, I, I really wish I could go to the show after this, and like, my mother, bless her, bless her heart, I got home, and she's like, yo, let's go, she already showered, changed and everything, and I'm like, what? She was like, yo, let's go to your thing, I'm like, oh my god, I, I couldn't believe it, I legit, I was in the car, and I was like, are we really going to this? Like, I couldn't, I was like, are we really going to the OTJ show right now, to the pool party? And the whole time, I'm just like, are we actually, are we actually, like, like, I, I was freaking out, like, my hands are shaking right now, that's why I'm, I'm doing this on a selfie stick, otherwise my camera would be shaking, or my phone would be shaking, um, but I was like, there's no way in hell, like, this is insane, right, like, no way, and we arrive, and I'm like, oh my god, it's real, I'm here, I'm at Houston Underground, like, it's here, I'm here, I'm, I'm at the place, right, and then I'm walking up, and, and you know, there's like the main thing, there's a big garage running over there. It's the side, you can see like the artist area, like the where they enter and come out. It's like this weird, like, back room. And the doors open from, from where we walk up from the parking lot, and you can see them walking around in there. And I'm like, whoa, that's Atwood. And I'm like, wait, that's, that's sad. Like, you know, I'm like, yo, I know those guys. I'm like, that's them. I'm freaking out. I'm like, yo, that's them. But I walk up and I go in, I sit down. Um, and I'm just like, ah, I'm here. You know, I'm just kind of like sitting there going, I'm here. I can't, I don't know what to do. I can't, I can't, I couldn't process it. I'm like, I'm here. I'm at the place. You know, what, 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 and the other thing, this was my first live event. Like, I've never been to a concert. And like, basically I had never, 
been motivated to to go to any sort of live event because I've never liked an artist enough to go and, and check out their shit. Like, I I've like like I said, I like plenty of artists, I like plenty of people, and I like plenty of things. I use Counter Strike video games, stuff like that. But I've never liked something enough to leave my home and go to a live event. And there's been quite a few of them near here that I could have gone right. But this one was so important to me. I was like, I have to meet Limbo. Like she is literally my hero. I was like, I have to go meet Limbo. So I was there and I was like, yo, I'm here, you know, holy crap. Like I could see Atwood, Chris Wright, like Ichi, I could see they, they were all walking like, like like across the thing, they were walking right there. I'm like, oh my God, like, I was so close to them. I was like, they're right there. Like they were arms length, like feet away from me. I was like, that's them. I was freaking out like in my, like I said, internalized them. I'm, I'm very shy, I'm very, I keep my shit to myself. And internally, I'm freaking the hell out. They're right there. I'm like, holy shit. Like, my mother's there. She knows that I'm like the way I am. She knows I'm shy. She knows I'm timid. And, you know, she's like, you know, who are they? I'm like, yo, that's that way. That's that. Is it. And I'm like freaking out the whole time, right? And then they're like, all right, we're going to start this thing. We're going to start the show. People are, you know, thanks for coming, all this and that. And then guys get up there and start like doing their thing, start rapping and do all this. I'm enjoying the show. I think it's some of the best shit I've heard about. Like, obviously, except it's live. I'm like, yo, this is awesome. I've never been, never been to a live show, never been to a concert, never been anything. I'm like, this is pretty cool. This is awesome, right? And then I someone starts going, like someone starts going up there and doing their thing, and then I hear someone cheer behind me. Not, you know, this place isn't packed. It's not like super full. But there's a good amount of people there, and I hear someone cheer behind me. Now, a lot of people are near the stage, like grouped around the stage. Obviously, me being shy and timid, I, I like to stay away from the crowd. I don't like being around people. or Like, I don't like being around a lot of people. I, I freak out in those situations. I get, like, anxiety attacks. So I, I sit in the back of my mother. I'm sitting on the bar. Uh, and, and I hear a cheer. And I'm like, you know, you know, this person's excited. You know, I'm thinking they probably, you know. I, I was like, you know, at this point, you know, them having so, such a small, I wouldn't say small following, but, like, a small following considering everyone else out there. I, you know, I'm like, I've never, I've never met anyone who has, who likes OTJ, who likes Limbo, who likes Chris Wright. I've never met anyone who likes them. So I'm like, this is amazing. There's a community of people here in Houston who like them too. I was like, this is awesome. So I'm, you know, yeah, this person also likes them. And I'm like, I'm looking over and she's like skipping like towards the stage, like happily skipping. And I'm like, that's Limbo. Like I... In, like obviously in my head because I can't say this out loud I'm way too fucking shy to even talk um skip forward go yeah I'm like that's limp I'm like oh my god that's her my voice is going high I'm like I'm reliving this right now like it is intense like I freak out I'm like oh my god it's limbo it's her she's right there I'm just like oh my god right it's her and then I'm just like, ooh, ooh, she's right there. And, and then she's, you know, she's wearing her mask and everything. And I'm like, it's her. She has amazing shoes, by the way. I've seen her on her Instagram. I've seen them on her Instagram, her shoes and like those pants. But I'm like, oh my God, it looks so much cooler. And like, like in real life, like, those shoes look awesome. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's her. Like, she looks awesome. Like, I just couldn't believe, I was like, oh my God, it's Limbo. I just, I just kind of sat there like in disbelief. I'm like, oh my God. God, that's her. Oh, I was freaking the fuck out, dude. I'm like, this is the best fucking thing. And she's right there. You know, I'm like, this is the person. This is the person I've looked up to for months. I'm freaking, like, I'm in my head. I'm, oh my, I'm fucking everywhere. And I'm just like, oh my God. I cannot believe that's her. And, you know, she's, she's fucking going into the crowd and shit. And I'm like, ah! Like, in my head, I was free. I was screaming. I was like, oh, my God. She's in the crowd. Like, she's fucking saying hi to people. And she's hugging. I'm like, ah! She's hugging people. Like, holy shit. She's real. She's there. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, whoa. I fucking, oh, oh my God. I'm shaking a bit here. I'm just like, oh my god, you know. I, holy shit. And, you know, me being shy as shit, dude. I'm just sitting there going, oh my god. Now, again, I freaked out. 
and I have my phone in my hand, and I'm like, oh my god, it's Limbo, and I'm like, you know, fuck, this is awesome, I go ahead and tweet it, and I'm like, I need to make something funny out of this, and I'm like, I'll just post exactly what I just did, I go ahead and tweet out, uh, just saw Limbo IRL, I freaked out and hit in the corner, which I was, I was basically hanging on the corner, like in the corner of the bar, like I was back, and I'm like, and then she fucking, she goes, she, she goes back to the, to the area in the back where all the all artists are, and, um, she likes my tweet, and then she fucking replies to it, where are you so I can hug you? And I'm just like, oh, this is real. Now, I have a really bad reputation with people. I'm really bad at talking and meeting people. I'm just really awkward. I'm horrible at it. I'm really bad at that. And I'm just like, I freak out at that. I'm like, I can't do that. No, that's scary. I can't. I can't say hi. Like, I, I would lose my shit. If I, so I'm like, oh my god, I can't, right? So I, I basically just reply, is, is hiding an acceptable answer? Because... I was, holy shit, I was just nervous. I was like, I can't, I, I was so out of it. I was like, I can't write, like, this is, this is too much. I was insane. Like, you know how, how like, when, when you see videos of, like, famous people seeing, like, the fans and shit, and there's always fangirls who are crying, like, all this, are super excited, right? That was me, except I couldn't externalize it. It was all internalized. I was, like, freaking out. I was so happy. I was crying. I was like, oh, my God. You know, this is the person. This is her. And then I'm just like, she wants to say hi. She wants to hug. And I'm like... Ah, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. Um, and so I was like, I can't handle this right now. So I just stay in the corner the whole time. And, and I'm like, oh my God, you know, it's insane. Now, keep in mind, the show started at 7.30 on a Sunday. I have school on Monday. Today, I have school on Monday. I have to wake up at 6 in the morning. And I'm like, you know, my mother's like, yo, we have to go at like 8.30. I'm like, no, can we please stay until like 9? She's like, we have to go. I'm like, all right. Like I said, Limbo comes in and out of the, the, the back area, and she's, like, hanging out, hanging with her with her artist friends and all this. I'm like, oh, my God, she's so close. And at some point, at some point, she, like, walks from where she's sitting in her area to the bar. And keep I'm sitting at the bar, and I, oh, my God, it was unreal. She comes over to the bar, and she, she's, like, I assume getting water. And she, no, I know I could hear her. She got water. Uh, and, you know, she comes up. And I'm sitting closest to, the, to the, where the bartender guy is. And I'm just like, I am within two feet of limbo right now. Like, I just kind of froze. I was sitting there frozen with my phone in my hand, just staring at it. Of course, I, you know, I, I'm awkward, but I, I'm aware. I'm aware of my own shit. So I'm like, we can't, I can't look awkward right now. I can't, I can't look like a fucking loser in front of limbo. I'm like, oh my god. She's right there. She's two feet away from me. Like, arms reach away from me. I'm like, Fuck, she's right there. And I'm just like frozen. I'm like, oh my god, it's her. She's right there. She's right there. I'm like, oh. Like, I have this weird thing. I make noises when I'm nervous. And, and, and like, I'm, and, and, you know, I make sure to get, and there's, there's a performance going on. So, you know, obviously she won't hear it, but she comes up and I literally go, hmm. Like, I, I'm like, hmm. Like, an audible sound of distress. I'm like, oh my god, she's there. And I fucking flip my shit I'm sitting there going oh god it's limbo and then, and then and then I'm just like oh god that's her she's right there and you know she she gets her water whatever it goes back and I'm like ah ah like as soon as she says I'm like oh my god I, I, I held my breath when she was there I was like that was her she was there she was right in front of me and I'm like ah I can't believe it I could not believe it I oh my god she was right there and I am holy crap like my heart through the roof my heartbeat is insane I, I have a thing I'm checking my heartbeat on my phone I didn't screenshot it but my heartbeat was somewhere north of 150 beats per minute which is insanely high if you know what it's supposed to be it's between like 60 and 70 is the normal I was in a 150 range I go, holy shit, you know, I have to calm down or something, I'm fucking have a heart attack here, and I'm like, oh my god, now there's more people going, no, fuck, I see Atwood go on stage, and all shit, and I'm like, oh my god, it's awesome, and then I eventually see Atwood giving autographs and all this, I'm like, oh my god, you know, I've never gotten an autograph, so I, I'm nervous, I'm like, ah, oh god, anyways, I end up going up to the booth that they have, and I buy a shirt, this shirt right here, I go up there and I buy it. I'm like, it'd be awesome, I can get a sign, I don't have a marker, I'm like, you know, whatever, it's fine, I have the shirt, I bought it here, it's cool, 
And my mother, she knows I'm nervous. She knows I'm the way I am. And she goes, yo, do you want to take a picture with Atwood? I'm like, I'm terrified, by the way. I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm very, very, like, I'm, I'm super nervous. Like, I, I just have, I, I just can't handle things like that. I'm, like, super nervous. I'm like, uh, uh, yes, but, no, like, I couldn't. Like, he's talking to his friends, his, art, his artist friends. They're fucking, they're like, Love Sandkin was there. I was like, oh, my God, it's fucking Love Sandkin. And they were just hanging out there. Like, we, like again, again, I was sitting at the bar, like, you have a bar over there. Hold on. Like, look, look, look. No, I don't know if there's enough lighting. All right, look, see, there's chairs here. If I was sitting here, right, I was sitting right here. Right, I guess I was sitting on the edge right here. And, and then when Limbo came over to the bartender, she would have been, like, right here, like, really close to me, right? And then I'm sitting here, and then when, when Atwood and, like, Slope's acting, they, they were, like, talking. There. I, I assume they did shots, I mean. But whatever, they were, like, chilling. They were, like, right there, uh, like, right there by that little corner, like, literally right behind us. And they're just chilling out there. And I'm like, oh, my God. It's it's them. It's the dudes I love. Like I love their music and shit. And I'm telling my mom. I'm like, mom, that's them. Like I'm like children. I'm like, mom, that's them. That's them. Like, you want to take a picture of them? Like, dude, but he's with his friends. I don't want to. I don't want to intrude. I don't want to be rude. You know, because that's how I am. I'm so. I'm like. I'm I, I'm just. I hate being impolite, and that's the thing. I'm like, you know, I don't want to go over there. I'm like, hey, can I take a picture? Because you know, I I I watch a lot of it, YouTube, I watch a lot of internet. And I'm like, you know, I, I've heard everyone gets sick of being being like, you know, if you're in public walking down the street and someone says, hey, you know, obviously that's awesome because you're walking down the street. Uh, but but when you're like, you know, at a place talking to your friends, enjoying yourself, it's like, I wouldn't say it's the last thing you want, but you know, you're in the middle of a conversation, you wouldn't want someone like, hey, stop your conversation, all this. Not, you know, that's the thing. I worry about that kind of thing. I'm like, you know, I don't want to stop this conversation. I, want to, I don't want to be rude or anything. So I'm like, no, 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 we're fine, we're fine. But then, but then <laughs> my mom being her, she, you know, she pushes me a lot. She's like, no, we're getting a photo with you. I'm like, no, 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 we're fine. I'm like, mom. And she goes up to him. I literally go, mom. Like, 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 I lower up. I'm like, mom, like, no, don't, don't, don't do this to me, right? She goes up to him, like, can I take a picture of you with my son? And he just goes, absolutely. I'm like, whoa. That was easy. Then I'm like, oh god, I feel bad. I got him away from this conversation with his friends. I'm like, oh my god. I got a picture with him, and I'm like, oh my god, that was Atwood. Also, he's tall as shit. <laughs> he's really tall. I mean, I'm five five, but he's really fucking tall. IMO. I'm like, holy crap, this guy's tall. But I'm just like, holy shit. I just go. I shook his hand. Then we hugged. I'm like, whoa. I shook his hand. We we just. Oh my god. I hugged Atwood. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my god. And he's like, yo, hey, dude. I'm like, wait, he wants to have a conversation? I'm not ready for this. He's like, yo, so like, you know, like, you know, you got your OTJ show. I'm like, yeah, I just bought it, this and that. And then, and then we're talking. He's like, you know, how'd you find my stuff? And I'm like, yo, you know, Limbo. Like, I heard Rain. And you were awesome in it. Like, all this and that. And I'm just like, dude, I just had a conversation. I had a conversation with him. He was like, you know, thanks for the... You know, being a fan, all this and that, you know, it's kind of crazy. You know, you're in Houston, you found my stuff, because he's from, he's from Texas, too. And I'm like, oh, my God, no way. Like, there was a very high chance that I was walking down Galleria, and I probably passed him by a few times. And I'm like, there's a good chance that happened. You know, there's a good chance I walked past him a few times when I was at Galleria. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's insane, right? But I'm freaking out, obviously. I, I, I got a picture with him, and I'm like, this guy's amazing. This is the friendliest dude I've ever met in my life, and he's awesome. His music great. And then my mom's like, all right, you got a picture with him, whatever. You know, it's like 8.30 at this point. She's like, we got to go. I'm like, no, mom, I need to get another picture with, you know. Or I, I guess I didn't want to, like, I didn't say I want to get a picture with Limbo, but I want to see Limbo perform. That's, like, the whole point why I wanted, like, like, if anything else, Limbo, that was my goal. Like, I needed to see Limbo. She was everything. She still is everything to me. And, and I'm like, I have to see Limbo up there, right? And she's like, dude, we, we have to go. And I'm like, oh, my God, you know, I don't want to go. And then she goes, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. After that, we're leaving. I'm like, oh, my God. And then by the grace of God, I don't know what it was, but she goes to the bathroom. I'm sitting, like, I'm, you know, kind of sad. I'm like, oh, I have to go. I didn't get to say hi to Limbo. Of course, the whole time, I'm like, dude, I didn't get to say hi to Limbo. And I was like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I saw her. She's right there, you know. I saw her walk in front of me like that is the best thing ever that's happened to me ever, and so I was I was like you know what it's fine I saw her she was there I she was here that's enough for me I was like that is all I needed to be a content dude I'm like I'm fine she was here right, but then she walks past me I'm like wait wait that's her and my mom was in the bathroom I'm like wait she's back she's back out on the on the on the 
on the floor, and I'm like, oh my god, now was my chance. Of course, me being my, my, my fucking nervous ass self, I'm like, oh my god, that was her. And I'm like, you know what, I got to see her one last time before I left, that's good, right? Mom comes out, and she's like, all right, you ready, let's go. And I'm like, limbo, I, I just told her limbo came out. And she's back out, and she's like, where is she? I'm like, oh, they're in the corner with, with like, you know, near the table. And she's like, oh, really? Let's go over there. I'm like, ah. Again, with my, like, incredibly nervous noises going, ah. She goes, yeah, come on, let's go. I go over there. And I don't get any clothes. There's this, there's this pole next to the to the bar. And, you know, there's like, a, I can't really show you, but there, there's like a pole right here, like on my left. And then there's like her, her table with her, with her merch and all that stuff, like over there, like on that side, right? I didn't go further than the pole. I was, I was like, this is, this is close. Like, I was like, this is, I see her right there. She is footsteps away from me like this is close enough like i'm like this is i'm comfortable here like going any closer i'd freak my shit right i'd lose it and my mom's like yeah come on let's go let's take a picture i'm like mom she's she's talking to her she's talking to her friend she's you know whatever um because she was talking to, to to someone and you know whatever i think chris Wright was next to her talking to someone else and i'm like you know oh my god you know they're right there i don't want to be rude i don't want to interrupt them they're talking they're having fun they're doing the thing I was like, come on, let's go, come on, let's get your picture. I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. She's like, come on, I go, oh, no. Like, you know, the thing I do when I bitch, I'm like, no, 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 mom, please, no, no, no. And then Limbo comes up, and she's walking back to the back, and I'm like, oh, no, she's going back. But I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. And she's, like, walking really close, like, she's walking past me. And mom goes, hey. And I'm like, mom! Like, I literally, last second, because I didn't think she'd do it. I think she'd let her pass by. She goes, hey. I go, mom! Like, I free. I'm like, ah! And, and, and Limbo walks by. I'm thinking she didn't see her hoof. But at the same time, I'm like the most relieved yet the most sad at the same time. Like, oh my gosh, she didn't. And then I'm like, oh, she didn't. You know, like I was like, ah. Like I was like, ah. Like I was so sad that I wouldn't get to say hi. But at the same time, I'm so, like I didn't want, because I'm so nervous. And then she like stops me. goes, huh? And mom's like, can you take a picture of my stuff? She goes, yes, of course. I'm like, ah! She said yes! And I'm just like, fuck. Holy shit. Like, I'm, ner- I'm the most nervous I've ever been in my whole fucking life. I've never been so nervous in my life. I'm just like, oh my god. This is happening. I, I-, I approach Limbo. And she just oh, spreads her arms for a hug. And I'm like, wait. Okay. Like, I- I'm... Like I said, I'm really bad with human contact. I'm really bad with, with communicating. So I'm like, okay, hug. But I'm also really weird at giving hugs. Cause I'm just, I, I don't like contact. So I'm like, oh my god, a hug. So you know, I, I, I give her a weird hug, and it's a strangely long hug. But the whole, I'm just like, this is amazing. I, I'm pretty sure I audibly said this is amazing. She might have heard, she might have not, because there's people on stage. But I, I just said this is amazing. And I'm just like, oh my god, and then, you know, break up the hug, and it was a solid like three, three to five Mississippi's. I don't, I didn't count, but I was like, oh my god. And then we take a picture, and I'm like, oh my god, that was her. That She fucking, she she put bunny ears on, on my head, and I'm like, I'm okay with this. I'm like, ah, Limbo did that. Like, oh my god, I was freaking out. Like, the whole time I'm like smiling, but I'm like nervous and smiling. I'm like, ah, oh my god. I'm just like, oh my god, I fucking, that was Limbo. You know, like, she fucking hugged me. She, she fucking took a picture with me. She put fucking bunny ears on my head. I'm like, ah. That was Limbo! And, and then, you know, I'm like, thank you so much. And she's like, yeah, no problem. And, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to go. And she's like, thanks. And she goes back. And and her mom's like, you happy now? I'm like, yes! I'm like, ah. We walk out. I had to leave early. It was like, it was like 8.40. She, had, she was, she was going to go on stage a lot later in the night. Probably around 10 or so, 10.30. So I didn't get to see her perform, which is sad. But uh, I got to meet her. I got to hug her and, like, take a picture with her and I'm like oh my god <laughs> like legit I was in the car and I, I was quiet cause I was like oh my god like I was dead silent like I was like I cannot believe my life right now and and it wasn't until I got home that I, I was like accessing, uh, uh, assessing, accessing I was assessing the situation and I was like holy shit that that was today. That happened. This is not a dream. I'm awake. You know, this just happened, and I'm just like, holy shit, that just happened. And 
I'm I'm like walking around the house super nervous. I hadn't had dinner yet. It was like nine something. I'm like I'm fucking hungry. Uh, I'm walking around the house. I'm like oh my god. I literally got home, went straight to my room, and just sat down. And I still had the shirt I had on when I was at church, and I, I this around my arms. I bought it. I just kind of sat down, open like I spread the shirt out, and I just had it in my arms. I just like sat on my bed. I was like oh my god. This this is from the show. I bought this there. Like. Holy crap, this is real. This is my shirt. I, I got this there. I met Limbo. I met Atwood, Chris Wright, Ichi, Love Sad Kid. They were all there. I was like, that was today. That just happened. That's what this is. I just kind of sat there. Oh my god. And then it hit me again. Holy shit, that was Limbo. That was Atwood. That was them. And I just kind of. Again, went holy fuck. I went, let me look at my heart rate again. I look at my heart rate. It's at like 124, 129. So a solid hour after everything, my heart was still at 120 something. Like beats per minute. From the sheer excitement of, of meeting Limbo and Atwood and, and, and like everyone from OTJ. And I, holy crap, dude. I was ecstatic. I was on Twitter. I was like, yo... Limbo, oh my god, I just met you, I can't believe that, you know, it's on Twitter, and, and I was like, holy crap, I laid, you know, I have to go to school, I laid on like 10.30, now, uh, you know, uh, I like anime, so I'm watching anime, um, but, you know, before I even start watching anime, I just kind of lay down for a minute, I just kind of think, I discovered anime, I just, I discovered Limbo, at like five, four or five a.m., some few months ago, when I was in a stupid depressed state, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to my room real quick. I'm gonna find that song. I discovered Limbo at like four or five a.m. months ago, right? Like a solid time ago, and I fucking met her today, right? Like I just kind of. I was just kind of slaying there going, I just met Limbo, right? I was kind of like, that's insane. That's my life. I did that. That was me, right? My computer's loud, I know. Uh, and so I'm just kind of sitting there going, holy hell. I cannot believe that. And and so I'm just freaking out. And I'm like, all right, I'll watch some anime. So I pull up some... Uh, some anime, and you know I'm concentrating on the anime. I'm trying my best to concentrate on the. Okay, hold on. I think I found it. It's the one right here. Is it that one? I think it's that one. Ah, fuck. Hold on. <laughs> Time to put on my fucking thing. Ah. Okay. Hold on. It's this one. And then, when was this posted? Does it not say when it was posted? Oh wait, more? No. I can't tell. It was a long time ago. All right, cool, I found a song. All right, the song was called Tired. It's produced by Chief. Here, I'll switch the camera around. That, that song right there, that is a song that I found months ago, almost a whole year ago, right? It's called Tired, ironically, because it's kind of ironic, you know, I found it at like four or five in the morning. Like I said, I was tired, and I was like, this song's called Tired, let me click it. So I did, and some of the best vocals I've heard in my life. Literally the most beautiful voice I'd ever heard in my life. Still to this day, is one of the most beautiful voices I've ever heard. And so it hit me, I was like, I found this girl at four or five in the morning. And since then, I, I, I was obsessed. Right, and I just met her today. I was like, "Whoa!" And I continue to watch anime, whatever. And and then every time, you know, obviously the episode ends. I'm, I'm binge watching, so the episode ends, start a new one up. But like those, those few little seconds in between where it loads up the next episode, it hits me again, and my heart rate would not stop. It would, it stayed at at like 120. It would not go down. I was way too excited, you know. 
and that's how it was. That, that, that was my night. Like, I I think I finished my anime. Like, I, I completely I finished the whole series at like 3 a.m. 2 2.30 a.m. And then I'm laying down there again going, I met Limbo today. Just kind of lay there. I think I stayed up till 4 a.m. maybe. And I knocked out from the exhaustion instead of from, I actually wanted to go to sleep. I could not sleep. It was impossible for me to sleep. My heart rate from the, ex from the sheer excitement from meeting Limbo and all those guys um, was, was, kept me awake. And so I, I ended up knocking the hell out, but basically that, right? I, I was awake so late last night. That's why you can see the fucking bags from my eyes, like, exhausted. That's why. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Tomorrow, right before I fell asleep, I said, tomorrow I'm wearing my OTJ shirt. I have to fucking rep, right? Because I, I just bought it, so I didn't it yet. And I'm like, tomorrow I'm repping a fucking shirt. Like, so I woke up today. Well, I was forced to wake by, by my dad. He was like, yo, you're going to miss the bus. I'm like, fuck. But, but, you know, I get up, put on my clothes and all that. I'm ready. And, and I'm just like, yesterday was legitimately the best day of my life. I woke up. That is the first thought in my head. Yesterday was the best day of my life. I put on my shirt and I just proudly go to school and I'm like, I am proud to be wearing this shirt, and I'm proud to have found Limbo and, and her music. And I'm just like, yesterday was in fact the best day of my life. So, that was yesterday. Hey, you can see my dog back there. So that, that, or my puppy. That was, that was yesterday. That was, that was my day. That is the day I met Limbo and the OTJ crew for the first time. Hopefully not the last. Hopefully they come back. Um, but yeah, this shirt, my new favorite shirt, I'll keep it here forever. And uh, Limbo or any of the OTJ guys, if you watch this video, which I hope you do, if you watch this video and make it to the end, I love you guys. Like, your music is awesome. Please never stop making your music. I really hope you guys blow up and, and, and make it, you know, make it big. Because your music's amazing, honestly. It's some of the best I've ever heard. Actually, it is the best I've ever heard. Like, there, there's nothing, like, my sister plays music all the time out loud while she's around the house. and. I'd, I'd always rather listen to you guys. Like, you guys are amazing. Please never stop what you're doing. You guys are amazing. Like, your music, all of y'all's music is amazing. <sighs> yeah. So, if you made it this far, love you guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a fucking... This video alone is 40 minutes long, and the one from before is like 9 minutes. So I don't think you made it this long. But if you did, I truly, truly appreciate your music and everything you're doing and, and all of it. Just... Every, just you guys existing, dude. You guys are amazing. You know, I, I, uh, I just, I look up to you guys a lot. So, I really love your music, and I hope you never stop. Some of the, some of the best stuff ever. I'm repeating myself here right now, but it really is. <sighs> yeah. If anyone else makes it this far, please check out all their shit. I'm gonna try and link it up below in the YouTube video. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. From listening to Tired at four in the morning from Limbo to yesterday meeting them in person. <laughs> it's insane, I can't believe, I still can't believe. I, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Um, well, it's not a story, it's real life. It's something that happened, It's that's me. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> For real, if anyone made it this far, please let me know, like tweet me, DM, reply on the comments, whatever, just someone let me know if you made it this far, because Having such a small YouTube channel, I never know if anyone actually makes it this far, so please let me know. Uh, yeah, love you guys.